find out more. And it's Friday here on Good Things. So we got Tanya in the house to talk about movies. But first, you racked your brain and you found some things your boys said a little funny growing up. Yeah, I was trying to think back, and I know my oldest would say hilarious instead of hilarious. Um, and then I don't know where he got this from, but instead of saying false, he'd say false. Um, and we just never corrected him because it was so cute. And then helmet, they both my boys said helmet. Helmet. And I still say that to them to this day. And um, so you know, it's just funny. I think I think it's wrong to correct them. I, I think do too. You I should think let teacher, them say it as long as they will. Let a teacher do it. I mean, it's yeah. their job to be like, dude, you're not going to make it through standardized testing yeah. saying it that way. And then you're, you know, let the parents enjoy it for as for as long as as possible. Okay, movies. So what we what we got this weekend? Yeah, we got two big new releases this weekend. And the first one is Uncharted, and this is the Mark Wahlberg and Tom Holland. Kind of looks a lot like um, National Treasure. Mm-hmm. You know, just a got to got to find a treasure, and they're just constantly on the move, action, adventure. And I was supposed to see this last night, and I did not because of the weather. I was a little nervous about not being That's at fair. home. You get a, you get a um, pass. Yeah, and I, it goes back to when I was a kid. I was actually... My back in the day where your parents could drop you off at the theater, um, they had taken my sister and I, and I was probably about 10, to see a movie. They dropped us off. She's older than me. Um, and in the middle of the movie, my dad comes and gets us because there's bad weather coming. <laughs> Like ever since then, I will not go to a movie if it's bad weather. I can't say that I blame you because he is a very wise person. So if he feels like that's a dangerous thing, I'm buying it. Yeah, and at ten, you definitely—that's <laughs> a traumatic experience. Yeah. Although a good one, good dad. <laughs> but I do plan to see that, so I'll report on it next week. But the one that I did see is Dog. <gasps> is it good? <sighs> if only they could give Oscars to dogs because. I, it's, it, it, oh my gosh, it's so because sweet. Because most, and I've only seen the trailer, and this is the one where the dog's not always good, right? Like, right. Okay. Uh-huh. And it, because you, you see most dogs are just playful and they run and jump and whatever, it had to be take talent for, for the dog uh, trainer as yes. well as for the dogs to, you know, go against the grain on purpose. Right. And I was watching the credits at the end and they actually had three names the dog's name is lulu although channing's character calls it dog (laughs) the whole time her dog um but there actually were three names listed so i'm assuming three dogs played the role um oh my gosh i really knew it would be a fun movie but it really was not anything like what i was expecting and i was very pleasantly surprised i did (gasps) but you know a lot like a journal for jordan um, to me, they kind of have some similarities in the fact that I thought, okay, I'm going to cry from beginning to end, but it's not like that. It's just kind of fun um, until the end. And, uh, you know, the last probably 10 minutes is when, you know, you start the waterworks start. But um, yeah, so it's about um, Channing plays an army ranger who has been injured in combat. All he wants is to get back in, and he's waiting on medical release. And so, anyway, he makes enough calls and pesters enough people that they say, okay, if you will take this dog to its owner's funeral, who the dog is also an arm arranger, um, and his uh, master, whatever you call owner, uh, owner, yeah, he had passed away and they wanted the dog at the funeral. And so they, and the dog is very known for being aggressive. And so they're like, if you can successfully deliver this dog to this funeral, um, then, okay, we're going to sign off for you to reenter the army. And um, so that's, that's how it all starts. But um, you know, I would say don't let your kids see this one just because there's a few. It's not really anything major. It's just a few questionable scenes that I don't think I would want my kids to watch. Um, but as they're crossing the country, like I thought it was going to be more like the Turner and he- Hooch kind of mm-hmm. silly dog antics, but it's not. Um, this dog is a military trained dog. And along the way, he sees things and he goes after if he thinks something's not right. And so, and, you know, Channing's characters having to follow him, which puts them in a lot of sticky situations. Um, so anyway, I thought it was a big love letter to our military 
again, um, like a journal for Jordan, where they just shine a spotlight on, you know, their lives, what, you know, the sacrifices they make. And then uh, this dog, I mean, it's like you just want him. <laughs> I mean, he's so cute. And I, I'm not going to say anything beyond that because I don't want to spoil anything. But, um, I, and also this is Channing's directorial debut. He's co-director. Um, and I think for his first outing, he did a great job. Well, I'm glad to hear that you enjoyed it because it is definitely on my short list. I want to watch it. Yeah, it is so precious. I thought it was a really good movie. Well, good deal. Okay, any yeah. others out? Well, that's the only two big new releases this weekend, but we've got some stuff. I've, well, first of all, yesterday we were watching the Olympics at my house, and I saw a trailer for Elvis coming out this summer which is based on a book written by a man from mississippi oh wow mm -hmm. well um tom hanks is playing the colonel mm -hmm. so you know i know growing up my mother was never fond of him like he, and and that's kind of what the trailer starts off saying i'm known in history as a bad guy so i think it's told from his perspective maybe um so i'm really excited about that um and then top gun maverick they finally have a release date it's going to be may of this year, Memorial Day weekend. So that's something to look forward to. Finally. I know. And then, you know, I kept thinking, gosh, I think Mission Impossible is right on its heels. And um, Which number is it? I know. What they're doing is they're filming seven and eight at the same time. Of and so they, they were supposed to release seven last July. They bumped it to July of 23. Um, and then eight is going to come out June of 24, a year later. So that's some big ones coming um, to look forward to. Um, and then I guess th we've talked about the Batman comes out March 4th. The Lost City, another Channing Tatum movie, it's coming out March 25th. Um, I'm excited about that one. Morbius is April 1st, which is another Marvel character. And then April 15th, Tax Day is Fantastic Beasts 3, uh, The Secrets of Dumbledore. And I actually just saw a trailer for that uh, when I went to see Dog, and um, it looks really, really good. I don't it's know if I've seen the first two of those. Um, it's been, been a while. Wow. Yeah, it's like it's been a long pause, just like everything else, but I'm really excited. Yeah, they're good. It's like they're the American version, uh, the American wizardry, School of Wiz Wizards. Do we feel like we're going to ever have another, I mean, you had the Lord of the Rings, you had your Harry Potters, like, is there anything that's, I know you have the Marvel, but gosh, they have so many of them. Yeah. You just feel like we need, like, something that's that kind of. Yeah, I'm sure something else will come along, but um, the Lord of the Rings, they've just started showing previews. They're going to have a TV series, um, and it looks like it's going to be really good. Well, then sign me up yeah. <laughs> because I'll watch just about anything that, that they have. Uh, definitely. I'll... One thing to remember about that Elvis movie that's coming out this year. James Dickerson. That's his name. That's the author's name. The director of the Elvis movie is Boz Lerman, who you oh, may yeah. remember directed such movies like Moulin Rouge. Pretty cool. Or the Romeo and Juliet where Romeo had a gun. Pretty neat. Yeah, I saw the trailer too, and I think it's going to be... A lot of fun. You wonder how can they, how many different ways can they tell the same man's I know. story. I know. But, and I have watched every one of them. I mean, I love it. It's kind of like the Royals. It's like if, it, if it's related, I'm going to watch it. And, I, you know, they're going to take it through his whole life. I wasn't sure about that. I thought maybe it would just be young Elvis, you know. Speaking of the Royals, which is not royal, but Downton Abbey. They're supposed to be coming out with another movie yeah. for us Downton Abbey lovers. Yeah. Is that this summer? I think it's Christmas, but oh. they were supposed to debut a new trailer today, and I have not seen it yet. Um, I think they were going to be on one of the morning shows today. Which means so. we'll all have to start back from the beginning and of binge course. watch our way sort of through it. Although that's that's a commitment if you're going to do I that. I know. I did that last time. I mean, when the first movie came out, I went back and rewatched the series. And it's funny, you know, I love to go back and rewatch stuff, um, how your perspective changes based on where you're at in life. You know, like I did a Seinfeld rewatch. And when I was a young kid or younger watching the series as it actually aired, um, I could not stand Kramer. I mean, he got on my nerves, all the clumsiness and all that. 
But now he's my favorite. I mean, it's just funny how things change. How things change that way. Well, things are changing at the movie theater, and it sounds like we've got some good options this weekend, plenty to look forward to. So I'm, I want to see Dog. I Do it. have to get my tissues and be mentally, <laughs> mentally prepared, but I, I agree with that. All right, well, thank you. You're welcome. All righty, y'all stick with us. we got more for you.